Coming soon, the new hit movie blockbuster of the year. Jonathan, I'm sorry. The tests, they came in positive. No, it can't be. Is there a cure? I'm afraid not, Jonathan. You may have to live the rest of your life with ants in the pants. Based on the hit board game by Milton Bradley and Hasbro, prepare yourself for a movie with courage. I will find a cure. There is no cure. It's impossible. Friendship. There is no impossible. Love. I love you, no matter how many ants are in your pants. What if there were 500? But I want a divorce. And determination. You are going to have to take the pants to Ice Mountain and drop them in the lake. But don't break the ice. This fall comes a movie featuring Nicolas Cage. I have too many ants in my pants. Christopher Walken. I have some insecticide if you want to spray it down your pants. You know, it might cause general herpes though. Whatever you want. Angelina Jolie. I love you, Jonathan, with all my life and all the boat that that is in my lips. Sandra Bullock. I love you too. Carmen Electra. I love you too. And Joan Rivers. I love you even more. Critics rave about ants in the pants. The Los Angeles Times says, Sometimes I tell someone to die in a hole, now I want to. Michael Phillips says, This movie sucked so hard it opened up a gay black hole. Roger Ebert says, I'd rather endure five long hours of anal sex with an African elephant than have to watch this movie one more time. And Ben Lyons thought, meh. Ants in the Pants rated NC-17 for graphic crotch shots, polygamy, and lots and lots of ants in the pants.